Greg and I first met at a mutual friend of ours. It was her surprise birthday party. We actually knew each other because his daughter goes to school at my work, so we would see each other about every other day. She worked at Bentley Bright Beginnings and she was the door greeter. And I was walking up and I saw her and I, I turned and looked and said, please be Braley's teacher. <laughs> and uh, she wasn't Braley's teacher, but she did work at Braley's school. So I knew of her from that, but we officially met at our friend Patrick and Brittany's house. I was already there and she walked in and it was one of those moments where I saw her and I was just like, holy crap, <laughs> who is that? Our first date, he took me to King Cone ice cream. Uh, Braley went with us actually, which was really special. I had just finished building this Camaro and we drove it to Perry to get ice cream. And I had not installed fans yet. <laughs> we waited in line forever, super hot day, COVID, all that. We were in line for so long that the car just started overheating. It was rather embarrassing, but <laughs> it still turned out all right, I guess. Falling in love with Mike was super easy. Honestly, the thing that made me fall for him the most was seeing him as a dad. I always knew from the moment I met Mike that he was gonna take care of me. He always fit right into my family. He's a great man, and I can't wait for forever. Falling in love with Courtney was absolutely the easiest thing I've ever had to do. I mean, it's easy to look at her and just think about how beautiful she is, and, but once you really get to know her, she's even more beautiful on the inside. I had fallen in love with her after the first conversation. Mike proposed to me at Uncle John's Cider Mill. We actually went to pick out pumpkins. Her mother had made me this pumpkin and it said, will you marry us? Because I, I felt like I was proposing for my daughter and myself. I had no idea. He had a fake pumpkin in my mom's purse that said, uh, will you marry us on it? I thought it was kind of rather obvious that her mom had this huge bag to hide the pumpkin in. But we went out, hit it. Braley walked up to her with the pumpkin and said, what do you think about this one? What? <laughs> as soon as I tried to talk, I just, I really couldn't say much. I told her how much I loved her and asked her if she would marry me. And then <laughs> before she said anything, her dad was, his job was to record it. And he was in the background and he said, yes. Can you marry me? <laughs> Yay. I say, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea that he was going to do it. Thought we were just going to pick out pumpkins. <laughs> Courtney, here we are. I'm absolutely in love with you. I can't imagine being with anyone else. Looking at my new watch and it's 2.37. So a little less than an hour. I can't wait to turn around and see you walk down that aisle. I know you're gonna be the most beautiful person I've ever seen. You already are inside and out and I just can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together and continue to grow into a family. So I love you so much and I'll see you soon. You ready? Yep. Okay. Love you. I love you too. Michael, I love you with everything that I am, and I can't wait for you to be my husband. One look at you.
and the family that are here today to celebrate the union of Michael Allen and Courtney Diane. The wedding rings perfectly symbolize the never-ending love you two have for each other. The ring serves as a welcome and constant reminder of the bond you've formed with your partner. I, Michael, give you, Courtney, this ring as a symbol of my enduring love. Today, I take you as my wife. I love you now, as I've always loved you, and as I always will love you. I, Courtney, give you, Michael, this ring as a symbol of my enduring love. Today, I take you as my husband. I love you now, as I've always loved you and as I always felt with you. Michael and Courtney, by the power vested in me with the Universal Life Church and the State of Michigan, 
I'm pleased to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. to love